What is up lovely people? It is May here and today I'm going to show you all the Korean beauty products I use in this year. I know it's just only December but I've saved all the products I emptied out and I wanted to show them all to you and tell you which one of them are my favorites, which one I've repurchased, which one I've used a couple times and which ones I didn't like at all. So this is the whole box of everything I used this year. My god. I know it may seem like a lot, but some things like cleansers and toners, those are the things I run to pretty quickly. And to give you a little heads up, I don't wear makeup like five days a week. I work at home, so when I'm at home, I don't wear any makeup at all, obviously. So maybe I only wear makeup when I'm going outside on the weekends, when I'm going for dinner or something with my boyfriend. So I think maybe at most, I wear like makeup three, three days a week. So that also requires me less products, like less oil cleansers, less makeup removers and things like that. So that's a little heads up. But let's go straight into the first category, which is obviously cleansers. All right, so let's start off with the cleansers. I'm doing cleansers first because obviously that's the first thing in our routine. So these are all the different cleansers I've used this year. I'm going to show you quite quickly which ones I've used and which ones I've repurchased and which ones I didn't like. I'm not going too much into detail about each of the products because then for each category this video will take like a hundred years. So let me show you the first two. I'm going to start off with oil cleansing and I have these two which I've used throughout the year and it's the Troy RK Pit Cleansing Milk and the Troy Arke Oil Cut Cleansing. So I've used this all throughout the year and I think I've for one whole year I used four bottles and I'm combining it with the Pit Cleansing Milk. Now my skin is very sensitive so if I wear a lot of makeup I will use this one and this is really easy to use. You can just apply this all over your face with the pump and you only need two pumps or so and then you leave it on your face for a couple minutes also you can put it on a cotton pad and put that directly onto your eye and then wait for a minute or so and then just swipe everything off and this will really properly remove your makeup without tugging onto your skin so if you have really sensitive skin that's something to look into for oil cleansers i use the accent oil cut cleansing and as well as the Holika Holika Oil Kale Cleansing Oil to Foam Fresh. I've also used the Oil to Foam Moisture. To be honest, for me, there's not much difference between those two. I just really like both of these as an oil cleanser. Obviously, the Triadic is a bit more expensive, but this one is lately very hard to get. I don't know what Holika Holika is doing. Maybe they are discontinuing this. I don't hope so but I really like both of these so now on to foam cleansers and with foam cleansers I didn't do that much adventurous things this year I didn't try a lot of products to be honest because I'm quite hooked on this one I've used the Benton honest cleansing foam at the beginning of the year and I really like it it is a bit drying for some of you but to be honest I have dry skin and I didn't experience that so this is a really basic cleansing foam it doesn't break me out I really like this <laughs> but my favorite definitely is this Soonjing pH 6.5 whip cleanser and when you pump this this is already empty so I cannot show you but when you pump this out it comes already as a foam and then you can just pat it onto your face just massage it in for a little bit and your face feels really clean but not irritated or like give you that astringent feeling or tight feeling afterwards so i really really love this if you have sensitive acne prone skin which is leaning towards the dry side or you doesn't or you don't want anything to strip you of the moisture 
I would really recommend so this. So then onto the second category, which is toners. And these are all the toners I've used this year. So at the beginning, I used the Troy Arake Skin Complex Formula. And this is now empty, as you can see. But this is kind of... You mix it with one of the ampoules of Triake and you get this specialized toner, especially for your skin issues. So I used that with the green anti-trouble formula and the... Yeah, <laughs> these are both anti-trouble formulas. I've emptied two of these and I think I emptied four of these. So I like that, but to be honest, it was quite expensive and... I'm more on the side of hydrating toners so I don't use that much toners with active ingredients and just for hydrating you can find a lot cheaper alternatives so then I switched to the Pure Heels Centella Reviving Toner and I like this however I didn't like the scent of it the scent is really strong it smells like it really smells a lot like tea tree and I'm not a big fan of tea tree however I did empty this and it didn't break my skin out so it was all right then finally to my favorite Ta -da! I think you recognize this because I only talked about this a thousand times or so this is the Soon Junk pH 5.5 relief toner and the thing I love about this toner is that it's not special at all. It's such a basic toner, so the only thing it does really is hydrate my skin. But that's the only thing I need it for, so for me it's perfect. It does ha doesn't have any crazy or irritating ingredients. It's just straight up moisturizing. So I really, really love this, and this saves my skin every time. However... Oh yeah, I need to tell you, I emptied four of these. And I wanted to use this actually till the end of the year. But then I somehow got hooked on this. I think this brand is not talked about a lot. But it's TM and TM also makes the popular My Signature C Source Serum. The Vitamin C Serum. But this is the... Vita B5 toner, Hydra B5 boosting toner. So this has Pantanol in it, which the Sunjung also has, and I really really like this as well. This is not empty by the way, I've been using this only for a couple weeks, but I like it so much I wanted to mention it in here. So I think both of these will be my best favorite toners for 2018. Oh. I almost forgot. I used another toner this year. And this is the Pyongkangyu Mist Toner. Oh my god. It was lying here somewhere. I emptied two of these. And this is a really great basic toner as well. And I love that it's in a spraying bottle. So it's really easy to apply. You can wear this over your makeup as well. I find that it's really lightweight so it doesn't mess up your makeup. And I think I give this a solid third place. Then onto the next category, which is serums, ampoules, essences, emulsions, and things like that. Those are the things I play around most of in my routine because they can add moisture. They are the step for spot treatment and things like that. So I have a couple of my favorites. <gasps> I have a couple of my favorites right here. Um, these I emptied two of. It's actually the same product, but it's the Troy Arke HGT Hydro Essence. And even though it's an essence, it's almost like a gel moisturizer consistency. You could totally use this as a final moisturizer as well because of the consistency. Again, it's a bit pricey. However, I think for the amount you get, this is one of the best Troy Arke value for money products so if you're looking for something moisturizing just give this one a go i have a couple of minis here 
This is the Triadica Anti-Trouble Formula as well, which I mentioned earlier, I mixed with the toner. You can use this as a separate serum as well. And I tried the Triadica Acne C Formula as well. To be honest, I didn't feel that much of a difference using these. So I think I like using them, but I wouldn't repurchase them. So let's go to my favorite serum of this year. And it's the Cosar X Propolis Light Ampoule. And I started using this three months ago and I already finished two bottles. I really, really love this serum. It really hydrates my skin well, calms my skin. I feel like it helps to calm my breakout areas and make those heal faster so i really like using this and it doesn't affect my rosacea either so i'm really loving this the only thing i hate is the applicator as you can see with these i don't know if you can tell but there's still a bit of product on the bottom and you just can't get it out if you are like almost a quarter of the bottom away then the ampoule it doesn't soak it up anymore so i really really hope they they will make a different packaging of this because i really love this serum itself but the packaging is just ugh, i hate it so that was all my favorite ampoules and all the ampoules and serums i use so on the moisturizers so these are the moisturizers i've used this year so as you can see i didn't use that many because for me i only need a little bit at a time and i only use these during nighttime i don't use them in the morning because i use a moisturizing sunscreen in the morning instead so that's why i only use four five this year but let me start off with this and this is the rarita seahorse antioxidant cream and as you can see, this is a really huge jar. I've emptied this all out and my boyfriend did use some of this as well. It's a nice cream, but it was nothing special for me. Also, I didn't really like the texture. It has dimethicone in it, which is silicones. And for me, I don't really like a lot of dimethicones or silicones in my moisturizer and but it does depend on the type of silicones and for me this was okay but i just didn't like the texture that much and then onto this one i know a lot of you use this with rosacea and a lot of you recommended to me because i have rosacea you said oh please try this it's supposed to be really good for those with rosacea it's a type of moisturizer that you apply it and then it turns slightly green to minimize the redness but oh man <laughs> i hated this so much i have no clue why this is so raved about i use this in the morning time obviously because because of the correction function and the spf it's not something that you would use at night time you use it kind of as a makeup base or some people just go outwards without wearing makeup after applying this but for me it really didn't sit well on my skin i didn't like the tone it made i felt like it was really flaky even though my skin was well exfoliated and didn't have that much dry patches so yeah i honestly totally hated it so most of us with rosacea are more leaning towards the dry skin side and therefore i feel like this is not moisturizing at all and it gave me a really matte an unhealthy finish and I couldn't even apply any makeup over this because it would just totally flake up so I didn't even finish this but I kept the box just to give you my review so yeah I'm, I'm quite disappointed especially at the price point it comes at I've tried a few Dr. Jared products now this one the 
control alt cleanser i believe and i didn't like both of them so if you know good dr jared product i'm willing to try it again but let me know in the comments if you have a good one so then to two of the moisturizers i did enjoy and i have here the sunjung 5 pantan so cedar sika balm i don't know if you can see that this is a new packaging by the way i just opened this because this is like an iron tube i really completely devastated the other packaging trying to get the last bit out because this is my favorite moisturizer of this year and i use this in the morning time in the night time i use this even on my elbows as dry patches you use such a small amount of this that this small tube i think it lasted me four or five months or so and i just really love it if you have dry irritated acne prone skin just give this a go you will love it and then onto my final one which is the claire's midnight blue calming cream and i think you're all familiar with this one a lot of people use this as a spot treatment but i actually use it all over my face because my whole face has spots <laughs> no but seriously i use this all over my face and it really calms my skin well it really helps with breakouts i do have to agree on that and it doesn't give you any irritation or it doesn't give you any breakouts so yeah i'm really enjoying this i'm really happy they decided to make this in a tube as well as it's more hygienic than obviously the tops like these so this is a really good one and i definitely recommend it now on to spot treatment and sheet mask i'm doing this in one because yeah both quite the same packaging so first off i have these next care pimple patches these are basically the same as the causer x ones although they are way cheaper these are 2001 which is around two us dollars and there's 12 patches in here so they were way cheaper i tried to i wanted to try them out because of the price point so i bought these while i was in korea but i didn't like them at all they were way too thick and they didn't even stuck to my face so i definitely don't recommend these i gave these to my boyfriend and he, even he didn't like this so yeah i i just found these totally useless but the ones i did like i have a bunch of right here these are all the pimple patches i've used this year my gosh i think there's over 15 of these here and it's the causerx clear fit master patch obviously this is the second generation patches they, ma they made the original ones are called the acne pimple patches pimple master patches and those have the red logo on here but even though these are 18 patches instead i the other ones i believe i think are 24 i like these so much better these are thinner and adhere to the skin way better so i always use these ones over the red ones but i think both are pretty good and definitely way better than the next care patches so yeah definitely a lot of pimple patches i've used this year so then on to sheet masks and i just saved a couple of those i emptied because some of them i had and essence was leaking out so i just threw a couple of them out but to be honest my favorite and my go-to brand for sheet masks are either benton or yada both have really really great sheet masks and both of them all the sheet masks i tried didn't irritate my skin they are free from harmful ingredients and they both have 100 percent cotton sheet masks so these are a couple of the yada ones i tried i have vitalizing mask pack brightening mask pack moisturizing mask pack collagen mask pack and to be honest i like them all i keep this all in backup in my fridge as well as in my 
in my bathroom so I love these but these the Benton Aloe Soothing Mask Pack and the Benton Snail Bee Mask Pack the Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack the Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack I don't have it right here but I've been talking about that a lot so a lot of you know what I'm talking about that one is still my favorite sheet mask even for 2018 it's really the only sheet mask that I've ever tried which does an overnight miracle and I always use that one if my skin looks dull if I suddenly have a lot of breakouts or if my skin just needs something extra and the next day when I've used it my skin already looks way better so I really love that sheet mask so give that one a go I think it's suitable for all skin types so everyone can enjoy this mask now on to eye creams our second last category so I only used two eye creams this year and I used this Misha one I'm not sure of the name right now but I'll put it somewhere here and the Innisfree Orchid eye cream right here I just have the box left because I threw out the other one and I only use two eye creams this year because I believe eye creams are something you invest in only once, twice or maybe three times a year because they last so long and you only use a little bit. But definitely my favorite of this year is this Misha eye cream. I love it so so much. It has no scent. It really helped a bit with the dryness under my eyes as well as some fine lines I had around the side yes i'm aging as well and you should try to start with eye cream as soon as possible and i really love this i like the innisfree orchid eye cream as well however i prefer this as this one is scentless and the innisfree orchid eye cream did have uh, some kind of scent so if there's something you're not into or especially are into then that's something to keep in mind and then to the final category and the final category also the most important category is known for protecting anti-aging even a little bit of moisturizing and i'm talking of course about sunscreens so i have a couple of sunscreens right here i have the try out k accent uv protector essence and i like this because it was really lightweight and thin so it did settle into the skin really well it absorbs easily and i felt like it didn't break me out at all it is spf 50 and ph triple plus and then i used the benton papaya s papaya s sunscreen which has spf 50 and ph 4 plus this is really i feel really similar I feel like this is really similar in texture to the Troy Atake one and maybe it could be a, like a cheaper dupe or something I haven't compared the ingredients but the texture is so similar and obviously this one is way cheaper and it delivered the same feel and protection for me so I really enjoyed this and then finally my favorite sun cream of this year was definitely the Soon Jung Mouth Defense Sunscreen and this is SPF 49 and PA++ I feel like this is enough protection for my daily wear and it really calmed my skin well the formula was so mild and honestly I really love all the products of the Soon Jung line if you have sensitive skin i would really recommend for you to try them so out. this were all the skincare items i used in 2018 please let me know what you think of these products did you think i used a lot this year or did you use way more products and let me know what your favorites were as well in the comments because i'm really curious to find out what you've used this year and always on the hunt for new products to try out so please let me know in the comments and i'll look forward to see them and i'll see you in the next one bye